And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Azir Hecarim to start the day off with. We're going to have four new decks with uh, Sharima with the new regions or the new region, the new new expansion. Um, that's what I wanted to say. Um, the champions we didn't play yesterday. We did not play um, Lissandra, Jarvan, or Talia yesterday. And so we're going to be playing a deck with each one of those. But uh, we're going to start with this deck because people in Twitch chat voted on this deck first. This one's going to be an ephemeral deck with Azir and Hecarim. And we're going to have a lot of stabby sand soldiers. They're going to be going in there and doing their stabby stuff. Going to be attacking. And they'll be bringing back our shark chariots that are going to be ephemeral. Also, we'll have like our emperor dies. Um, Dias, I don't know how you pronounce that. That will be getting sand soldiers every single time that we attack. Um... And this, this should be really cool. I like how, like, with, with ephemeral decks, usually um, you don't block very well, right, with the ephemeral decks. But I like some of these new cards that they printed, like Sandcrafter. This is a 4-mana 3-5. That's a great body for blocking and everything, but yet you still get the bonus for attacking. Inspiring Marshal, a 5-mana 4-6. Again, another really good blocker, but you can also um, use this to make your attacks a lot more powerful, right? When you summon another ally, give it plus 2, plus 0 this round. Yes, please. And then, of course, we'll have our Hecarim. Um, this should be a lot of fun to play. So let's let's go ahead and get to it. We'll see how it does. Azir Hecarim. Let's have some fun. Oh, our opponent has a couple of champion masteries there. With Sejuani and Rennington. But yeah, they're so stabby. Just like the animation with the Sand Soldiers. They're like, stab, stab. Okay, we're going to keep the Rock Hoppa... Rock Hoppa Azir. Like, this hand, opening hand looks good, except for I don't have any one drop. How many one drops do we got in this deck overall? Just the Dune Keeper. Okay, so it's not that likely that we find that we have Dune Keeper. I just don't know if we have time for Stalking Shadows in this kind of matchup. I do like Stalking Shadows a lot, but they're going to be pretty aggressive too. The Hoppa. All right, I think I'm just going to. I think I'm just going to let. I'm just going to pass. I don't want to trade stuff because of my caretaker. I don't think. At least not yet. It does mean that I take a hit. It does mean I take a hit. I don't really have a, a favorite new champion so far. I I really like just basically, I mean, it's it's an easy answer, but I really do like all the champions. Like they, they did a great job with this expansion. I, I really like this expansion. Oh, wow. The Roiling Sands hits the Sapling. It doesn't even hit the Caretaker. All right, we'll get our Stabby Sand Soldier. No, that thing's big. That thing's so big. Gosh, that thing's big. Please don't have the one mana challenge card. Don't have it, don't have it. Yeah, this is keyword big. Like, it has keyword overwhelm, keyword spell shield, and keyword big. It has three keywords. No, they had the one-man challenge. Oh, no. That's a bummer. All right, this looks like a loss. There's stuff too big. Uh, what's your champion spell? Oh, that's not going to do it. Stupid rock hopper. Putting that extra, <laughs> that rock hopper put in, putting this roiling sands into play. Yeah, rock rock hopper harrowing may not be looking like the best. That's not looking like the best thing, ever. Kind of think I've just I've lost this. There is no place for savagery in the new Sharima. Conquest is always bloody. 
So that's seven, eight, nine. Yeah, Exhaust is just amazing. Like that's Exhaust is a great card. We're playing three Exhaust in our deck too. But especially with Renekton, you if you play Renekton, you should definitely be playing three Exhaust. But Exhaust is that's one of the best cards in the new set. Oh come on, really? You already got big enough stuff. That was a move of desperation right there. So our deck's doing some cool stuff, but big overwhelm. Um, this seems to be a bad, <laughs> kind of a bad matchup for Ephemeral. It's just big overwhelm. Yeah, it looks like a bad matchup. But the it was really about that exhaust, right? Like if they don't have the exhaust, and we get to keep that four six in play, like this game could be bet. This game could be different. But that exhaust was game winning. From the All right, GGs. Too much overwhelm. Okay. Another Shadow Isles deck with Freljor. They could have a big overwhelm thing. Oh, I love it. We got Dune Keeper, our great one drop. Um, so let's keep this. Well, we got a brand new Twit uh, tier one sub. Y'all get a bunch of hype in the chat for the melting pot. Or Melting Dust. <laughs> Thank you, Melting Dust. I really appreciate that. That's going to be uh, sub number three on the day. Thank you, Melting Dust. Pass. Oh, Soul Shepherd. Oh, man. I want to go just double Dune Keeper. That's what I want to play. But that Soul, Soul Shepherd, though. I guess I gotta just play that later. Well, thank you, Melting Dust. Alright. Stabby Sand Soldiers. Alright, they blocking. Stab. Stab. The Rock Hopper hasn't looked too good. <laughs> like it's, it hasn't looked the best so far. If it's made of sand, it's kind of awkward playing Rock Hopper into this. Yep, that was the very best card they could have. So no wonder they had it. It was the very best possible card. Rock Hopper is not a bad card at all. It's just it hasn't fit with our deck and with what our opponents have been doing yet. But it's it's not a bad card. Blighted Caretaker is just still awesome. You know, there's a reason why we're playing Black Caretaker. It's awesome. Hmm. Man, this has all just been so... I'm not a very good Blighted Caretaker deck. Maybe like that's like my problem is I need to make my deck a better Blighted Caretaker deck. It's possible the Rock Hopper doesn't fit in our deck. Down to one. I mean, I just go down to two if I block this thing because the Callista levels up. I mean, I, this game's just over. Well, Hired Gun is in Bilgewater. We can't play that card.
Like the card we could like we could play Curse Keeper to go with Caretaker instead, like as a two drop there. Um I don't know. Maybe we just have enough twos anyway without it. I don't have room for They have vengeance or something? Give them a chance. You, you have well, I guess they just have do they just have to block? I hope their plan is like next turn harrowing and then we can counter harrowing. That's their plan, Battle Fury. I mean it's not like the worst for me, right? Because I can I can block Callista. That's not that bad for me. I can just block it. So we're not we're we're still alive. We can maybe do this. Oh come on. Why do people have to play overwhelm? Overwhelm is cheat. Was cheat. We return to the sands for now. Okay, before game three, I'm making just one very small change. I'm just reducing, I'm just kind of diversifying a little bit. We're going to just play two rock hoppers instead of three and play two caretakers instead of three. And I'm going to play two doom beasts in here also to get some uh, nexus training and be in a, a good efficient blocker and things like that and, and also it could be a just a fine attacker to just be able to throw out there and um, trigger the emperor's dais and stuff like that so we're going to get two doom beasts in here as well so let's try this when you when you do play stalking shadows it is nice to have a diversity of, of cards also when you're a stalking shadows deck to just have access to uh, whenever you're digging with that card and so i i think that instead of just playing three and three for rock hopper and the caretaker we're going to get a couple of uh, Doom Beast in here also. Okay, so we have... I think I just keep one of these. I don't think we can keep both of them. I think we just keep one of those. So we're going to have like that on turn two. We'll have like Shark Chariot on three. Could go Soul, Could go Soul Shepherd on two instead. They didn't attack. Their thing had fearsome. But they were too scared. Ooh. Nah, let's go. Go the shark. And the next turn, probably playing a Sandcrafter. Oh, why am I not attacking the Soul Shepherd? Well, no, we don't need to attack with Soul Shepherd. Whoa. Okay. I'm fine with that. Them spinning their wheels would be good for me. So Kindred Callista. Nuthian. Welcome to the channel. Nuthian Hodak. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that somewhat correctly. Curse Keeper plus Ravenous Butcher. All right, so next turn we can either go with this Emperor's and then Doom Beast, or we just play uh, Desert's Wrath, give our Sand Soldiers 
plus. Actually, yeah, we're, we're definitely doing this because I because I forgot we have we have caretaker. So we're definitely going to do this and then caretaker away one of these things. Stab. Attack. These can challenge here, and we get another stabby guy. But we get two sta Oh, yeah, we get the shark also. We get a stabby guy and a shark. Oh, and, and so I should... Yeah, so I guess I should challenge with these first, right? Because then, like, then this kills, then they mark, and they mark... I guess the, the caretaker is just gonna get marked no matter what I do though, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. Caretaker just gets marked. What? No. All right, so all keywords are disabled. Just positive keywords. So I think it still has the can't block and and ephemeral. So that that doesn't that should still just be ephemeral and still dies and everything like that. Oh yeah, but then oh, but now the shark chariot's gonna get marked. Be still. It's gonna be marked. So what happens when an ephemeral thing is marked? Stabby. Yes, yeah, so now this gets marked. Stab. Okay. So there, so they did get to kill it with the mark. Each a grain of sand in a mighty desert. There you are. Boo. Now, Kindred, Kindred's fine. Kindred doesn't need a nerf. Okay, so it's plus two, plus two whenever you slay a unit. Wow. I would like to cast this card, please. That is still not leveled up. But don't worry about that. So Hecarim will bring two other attackers with it. Then it'll also have the shark. Then it'll also have the soldier for this thing. So it's going to bring four other things with it. So it, basically, so it'll be five. If I attack with this, it would be seven. But so like we just we just won't get the other thing that the Sandcrafter would normally bring along. But I think it's it's probably better to attack with the Sandcrafter than not attack with the Sandcrafter. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm doing the Sandcrafter second. So it's the Sand Crafters. Sand Soldier is the one thing that we don't bring along. Oh, wait, what did, where did I miscount? No, it just it brought this along right away. Where's my shark? Do we not have a shark or something? Give them a chance. I wanted a shark. Where's my shark? Be still. Yeah, our our shark was fake hushed, and so I guess that oh, so that so that removes. Okay, so that removed the last breath. What they use for removal on my Hecarim? Whatever it was, I don't like it. Oh, well, they're dead. Well, I was trying to figure that out. I think it was it Kindred's Champion spell? Because, okay, yeah, so it was, it was Kindred's Champion spell. So that means, so that's just like kill it and then bring it back. So it removes it from combat. But it still comes back, and then the buff the buff comes back. Hecarim's buff still comes back, and so they died. Okay, I need to update the deckless command in Mobilitics. Updating that. Oh. Lissandra Trundle. We're going to play that later. Man, they're, they're already mastered, though. All right, save. Um, so turn two, we play this thing with the attack token. That's not a very good turn two with the attack token play. Let's get rid of you, and you, 
and to keep those. Okay, slower hand. Very much slower hand. I guess I want the Dune Keeper. The desert by my side. I like this red indication. That could be pretty nice later, depending on what they got. Stab. Okay, that could be nice. You are troll lands. The sun disk shines on us all. Boo. Okay, so next turn we're looking at seven mana? No, I need eight mana. I want to play Desert's Wrath and Ride of Negation. I want eight mana. Hmm. Alright, so I can play. So, because I want to keep this right of negation up. So, I don't, I'm not going to just, like, throw it on Hecarim and they just, like, ruination me or something. So, we could play this Emperor Dianas and then still have right of negation. But, see, because if I play this, they get Ice Pillar. Um, which I think that's good for me. Because I can have this thing attack and challenge there. Um, and then we get three. So I want to use exhaust and kill weirding stones with exhaust. No, I probably want to save exhaust. So if I counter that, they take 4, 8, 12. They go down to 2. But then my counter is gone. Uh, I don't think I can counter that. I think I'm going to need to save my counter spell. And this thing's at least seven. That's okay. Yeah, I'm kind of saving the deny for the atrocity. So this brings four attackers alongside with it. I 
thinking, is it worth it to play the Doom Keeper? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know, like this trundle, like maybe, maybe I need to just do this exhaust and kill the trundle. I probably did, I probably need to do that. What am, I, what am I doing about this trundle? I guess I need to do something about that trundle. So I'm still kind of getting used to new cards, you know. I'm, I don't know why. I'm just, I was really protecting a whole lot against like vengeance and ruination and, and uh, that kind of stuff, as far as killing my Hecarim. But this trundle just kills me, and I can't stop it. I don't like Overwhelm. <laughs> so far, we've had three deaths, and all three of them have been because of Overwhelm. And my opponent is playing this very big Overwhelm champion. How do we keep from getting killed by Overwhelm? Is the question. It feels like we, we probably need like Black Spear in here or something like like some kind of removal spell like that. That the, the one mana spell isn't doing enough. The one mana vulnerable, that's it doesn't look like that's enough. Um, and maybe just maybe like our copy of Ruination, right? Like maybe our harrowing should actually just be a ruination instead. No, I don't really have any of the minus attack spells. We don't have, like, that many spells. This card has looked just, like, really slow. This Emperor's Dias. I've not been impressed with this thing. This has looked way too slow. It's like a slower Shark... Like, Shark Chariot's already kind of slow. This is like a slower Shark Chariot. Soul Shepherds has been doing some work, yes. I've, I've liked Soul Shepherds more than, than this Emperor's Dias. So that gives the allied spider allies plus one plus zero. So just the spider allies. Exactly. All right, then. The Emperor and the Shark Chariot together, or Inspiring Marshal. Because if we play Inspiring Marshal, we have to, like, if we're going to attack, we're going to have to, like, attack with the Inspiring Marshal. The Marshal is a better blocker. I think I just play the better blocker. I don't know if I really want to attack, though. Awesome, Jonike. Glad you've been enjoying that one. The Azir Rennington. Yeah, Rennington has looked really good. I've been really impressed with Rennington. I think it's 4-3. I should attack, though. I mean, this is a 
you know, <laughs> that's a really big stabby soldier. That's a... Well, I'm really glad they uh, just took it all. Made my attack look pretty smart. No. Is the hand no. Of Your command, General Darius. All right, so Hecarim, you're a five-five. You are not. You're a three-five. Well, they shouldn't just attack with those two. None shall oppose me. You seek an audience. Be still. I have to throw one of these in front of the the spinner. Which one's more valuable? I wonder if the Soul Shepherd is more valuable. It maybe is. Faithless creature. Yeah, it probably is actually. I'm sorry, Azir. Okay, let's see. Seven of mana. So I'm, I'm, I'm planning on going Shark, Caretaker, and Dias. No. My soul shepherd was going to be good. Uh-oh. My, my opponent is not joking around. Okay, so these saplings are four ones. So four one four one. Challenge, challenge. And then this is two other things coming along, so you attack. I guess I gotta attack with everything. I kinda just die though, don't I? Because I just take it. They just block, I take eight. They just, they just block these two things. Yeah, so I guess I can't. Hmm. I guess I'm just dead again. Ten power overwhelms. Like, well, how do we keep. How do we keep facing ten power overwhelms? I can't do anything about 10 power overwhelms. We've we've died to, you know, like they who endure. We died to like huge Renekton, Sejuani, Wild Claw, you know, huge overwhelms with that kind of stuff. And then they who endure big overwhelm. Um, Not so fast. And now we're dying to Darius and whatever the other one was. The other one was a big overwhelm deck too. I hope I stay alive. This this keeps me at the highest life total possible. This block. Hooray! We're still alive. Still alive for now. Pass. Okay. Not decimate. That's good. Still alive for now. Okay. Let's pay two two man to discard a card. Fair deal. The world in a grain of sand. The desert by my side. This is too many stabby things. Oh no. Down to one. Stab. Too many stabby things. Azir's command. When I move. Well, 
I know. <laughs> Riot won't let us go wide. We're trying to go wide. But this should still... Like, they have three blockers. All my... You know, like, three three attackers coming in. We'll have this one. And we're going to be two and three. We got I love this the, the Sand Soldier animation. How stabby it is. Y'all haven't seen this one yet. Stab, stab. <laughs> stab. Okay, there we go. Two and three. We stayed alive. Barely. That time. So there's our Azir Hecarim deck. Uh, has some holes, as we saw the very large Overwhelm units, whether it was Trundle or um, They Who Endure or just, you know, a bunch of like Sejuani, Renekton, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I guess three three different Freljor decks with a lot of Overwhelm really, uh, really was difficult to block. Um, I think I liked having the Doom Beast in there. We didn't really do anything with Doom Beast, but I think that's probably good. We probably don't need three Rock Hoppers and Caretakers. But Rock Hopper and Caretaker are both awesome. We saw that last game, Caretaker doing a bunch of work, and Caretaker, of course, with Soul Shepherd or with uh, Inspiring Marshall, definitely really good. We had that that last game, the uh, turn those things into four four ones with the Inspiring Marshall. That was nice. Maybe like so, like maybe like this Harrowing is just not necessary. I mean, there's. Yeah, trying to figure out like the correct interaction is going to be uh, kind of tough with this. You know, you just got to get some practice in with it. But uh, we didn't really get to do very much with exhaust. We never really had exhaust too much. But also, if they're playing like really big overwhelms, it's hard to have your small things kill really big overwhelms with exhaust anyway. So if, if people are going to be playing big overwhelms, I think you're going to want to move a little bit more towards Black Spear, Ruination, Vengeance. Um, I don't know if if it's possible for us to play the new five mana spell there siphoning strike i i do like siphoning strike a ton and making hecarim bigger is always a plus in my book or you know making a zero bigger definitely would be useful so maybe you need a couple of removal spells in here instead of you know maybe not exhaust and some other like just regular removal that's something to to think with but we did see like whenever our deck was going we we could go wide really well and um, really put a lot of pressure on the opponent with attacking. It's just whenever they can have super big overwhelm. That's that seems to be the weakness of our our deck, um, and uh, that's what our opponent. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of our opponents were doing. All right, but that's it here for Azir Hecarim. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. What other champion combinations do you want to see on stream? Uh, what have you been playing? What have you been enjoying? Um, all that kind of stuff. Love to hear what you think of this brand new expansion that's super exciting here, this Emperors of the Ascended. All right, but that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.